Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, here we go. First thing I want to show you is a little piece of rules candy that I got in just for kicks. Uh, this is the Infinity Rulebook. This game has been around for quite a while, many, many years. And the art is really quite lavish. The miniatures and the painting is outstanding. It's got a great deal of uh, fluff in there. Uh, should be aware, though that this game is more like a role-playing game. It is pretty complex. The rules are, are, uh, are really quite a read. Uh, so personally, I'd love to get someone in here who could just teach me how to play this game. I'd need to get some miniatures up. The good news is, uh, and I guess this is good news for a lot of miniature systems, is that it, um, it doesn't require that many miniatures play it maybe 8 to 16 I guess so there's that as a side note a lot of people make inquiries about uh, pricing and I do have a generic pricing list for miscellaneous 25 to 28 millimeter games I'll include a link to that oh yeah baby so here we go this is our just a quick mock-up of our version of the so this is our answer to the void raven bomber and as you can see it's a jet bike as the pilot We've got these uh, blades here to bulk them out and again this is a very rough draft not at all complete uh, from the front it looks like that so the blades go under and uh, for the for the bomber it's actually gonna have a third one that comes up over the top and then the guns under slung not exactly certain where those are gonna go the engine is gonna be uh, back here for the uh, razor wing, we're thinking of actually putting these uh, blade veins directly out the side so that they will, um, you know, be straight from the front. And then, of course, the correct arm. For Valhalla, this one coming up March 24th through the 28th, we are uh, going to do a scenario where it's aerial. And so there, and there will be two levels. So all the people playing will be either on the ground or up in the air. And we plan on making quite a few of these uh, flyers for one of those uh, custom scenarios. Hey, different day, different shirt, obviously. And uh, I got a package in, just a small one. Let's uh, take a look at what's in. Oh, looks like a bunch of hordes that we have here. Long Horthol, Long Rider Champion, Giant Trolls on Buffaloes. You really can't beat that. Got Creelstone Bear and Unit. That's a fun set of figs. Pig Bushwhackers. Pig Bushwhackers. Got uh, Scaldy Bonehammer. That's a new Warcaster for the Trollbloods faction. Trollkin Rune Shapers. Wow, that is like a pretty hefty uh, chunk of pewter there. And a slag troll. So there you go. That's about half of a troll bloods order. Uh, right now, Privateer Press is really kind of scattershot with their refill rate, and that's normal. A lot of companies go through periods of time like that, and so I'm having to get things from various sources. But I do welcome more machine orders, so I'm ready when you are. And so far, I've had a really, really super good track record at tracking everything down. Xanadu, <laughs> Xanadu, now we are here in Xanadu. Okay, go ahead. Okay, this thing. Xanadu, your neon lights will shine. You're so weird, John. <laughs> this thing can't dun, 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 for you, Xanadu. Okay, but seriously, okay, what's going on? Hey, look at this mech boy stompa. Not finished yet. Okay, I'm ready. This thing. I'm ready. Plasma gun okay. or cannon? It is a tractor beam, tracta so it should have like energy glowy stuff inside. Okay. By the way, that's universal sign language for energy glowing stuff. So it does need to glow. Yeah. Does it matter what color? <laughs> or it's I'm about to get my hands bitten off by a dog. Oh, it needs what again? Color. What color? Would it? Well, actually, I think what you're doing there is just great. So stick I with think the that'll blue be colors? just. I think that'll be just, yeah, it's uh, for Death Skulls. But you don't want to make it like, you know, too overpowering. It just needs to be there. I mean, like the glowy color. What color? Oh, blue, yes. Blue. Okay. Sorry. 
All right, okay, that looks good. Anything uh, you want me to do? Yes, I want you to do a Vanna White wave under the item there. Thank you. That's nice. That's great. Yes, one S. S. I'd like to solve the puzzle, please. Is it Mork Stompa? Ding, 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 ding. Okay, you can okay. go now. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Whoever shows up, we'll just make them part of the show. Hey, it's time for another uh, thing where we do this. All right, are you ready? Okay, first off, I want to say it's Friday. So exactly 20 days from now, we're doing a Valhalla with Dark Eldar. And here's how it's going to work. I'm going to divide the group, because remember, we're not having a tournament. It's not who plays best. There's no scores and wrangling about this and sportsmanship, da da da, da. We're playing in a scenario, and that's what sort of carries the whole thing and makes it different than just, well, let's just play pickup games. So anyway, it's going to be a Dark Eldar... Imperials, and then a third thing, probably Eldar, actually. So that's what's going to make this interesting. So i got to paint up about 6,000 points of uh, Dark Eldar. A lot of it's already done. but So that's why we're, you're about to see a lot of Dark Eldar. And by a lot, I mean a lot. So come on in, come on in. So here's Hellions. Two. Three. Four. And by the way, if you just want to commission a Dark Eldar army, that's okay. I think I over-ordered here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven boxes of Hellions. This is for a Demon's Army, Cahorn uh, Blood Crushers, Chaos Knights, Chaos Hounds. These are for Venoms, so we're going to make a lot of Venoms, so Viper Viper. That was in that dark Eldar pile. Let's see if we can stack it to the ceiling here. That'll be fun. Juggernaut. Juggernauts. Here we go with more dark Eldar. Witches, witches, witches. There we go. Yeah. May as well get the chair all staged up here. Witches, witches. Viper, viper. Viper, 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 Viper. Aha! This is where I look around and make sure there's nothing breakable. Blakeable, I almost said. Chaos Marauders. It's for Chaos Mortals Army, obviously. That's what they used to be called. There we go. Do you remember the old metal Marauders? Those guys were great. Vikings. All right, and then here comes more Warriors of Chaos. Warriors of Chaos. Uh, yeah. Uh, Warriors of Chaos. Oh, oh, boy. Do I have to hold it now? Here we go. Hold on. He said, oh, hey! Oh, come on over. Come on over. Hey, this is the uh, finished Dark Eldar Void Raven Bomber prototype. So, there you go. Looks like Dipped in blood, sky. Cabal. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's freaking awesome. What are you talking about? I love this little glowy engine stuff you have going on back there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there like you go. It's sub You know what? Because originally they had the um, guns up here coming right off the bottoms of those. Mm -hmm. and I did not like that. Mm -hmm. And now I'm glad I held out for that because that, yeah. it gave it like kind of a three-dimensional Right. Thanks. So give them a th top, bottom, side, whatever. There you go. Yeah, the uh, wing veins are a tad uneven. We'll uh, we'll get those worked out. And oh, but doesn't that look great? Yeah. It is. It is pleasing to the eye. Zoom. There it goes. All right. Well. All right. Let's get this thing to the ceiling. All right, so Kabbalite Warriors times four there. Oh, no, did I not grab enough? I don't think I did. Come on, you. We just need one more thing to round it out. Oh, uh, witches, four. Oh, no, it's Kabbalite Warriors. There we go. People are like, why don't you say Kabbalite? You know what? I'm saying it how I'm saying it. Ta-da! There we go. All the way to the ceiling with medium-sized boxes. 
Huzzah for ceiling reach. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and stop and start. <laughs> you know, you're really an expert at that. Kabbalite warriors, Kabbalite warriors, Kabbalite warriors, Kabbalite warriors. By the way, these are all going to be painted in three weeks. It's going to be all done. Kabbalite warriors, Kabbalite warriors, Kabbalite warriors, Kabbalite warriors, Kabbalite warriors. That's box one of three. Yeah, how do you like that? Uh, this is for a display board that we're making. But uh, the uh, whatever it is, Fortress of Redemption. Ooh, and some of these are going to become ship's guns for the Alkanost, which is the uh, rogue trader ship for our scenario. Troll bloods. These are for the thing that you saw earlier. Pyre troll. Looks like some nerdlings here. More troll bloods. Uh, Creelstone scribes. Scribed elder, whatever it is. And here we go. Mounted Damonettes. Seekers, I do believe those are called. And here comes more. Seekers. 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 Blood letters, blood letters. Tyranid Hive Guard. Ooh, got a couple of those coming. Those are extra special. Skull Taker. He's like, uh, excuse me, I think that's my skull. It's like, um, I don't think it's your skull. Whoosh! Like that. That's how he works. Whatever this gal is, Lelith Hesperax. Tons of unexciting blisters, but I'll read them off anyway. Oh, it's all nerdlings. Nerdlings, nerdlings. Tons of nerdlings here. Come around kind of on the side here. There we go. Nerdlings, nerdlings, nerdlings. And what do we got here? Sanguinary Guard. Ooh, I have a client doing an Archangels chapter, which is... Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. I ordered a uh, nine... Oh, no, this is right. This is right. This guy's actually getting 27 Flamers. So, Flamers, Flamers. Flamers, 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 Flamers. There's that. Incubi. Huge wad of Incubi. There you go. Mounted Lord on whatever it was. Remember the Archaeon? This is the thing that's replacing that. That's what I needed. And by the way, somebody commissioned that Archaeon model. So that was nice. Thanks for paying attention, fans. Reavers. Oh, yeah, the Reavers. Because that's what you need to make that Void Raven bomber. You need a Reaver kit and then certain bits. So Reavers, Reavers, Reavers. By the way, a determined person can make that Void Raven conversion out of... 8th inch hardboard. You make the veins and then everything else is kind of a, a kind of pieces. So there you go. But it's very labor intensive. Extremely labor intensive. So uh, there's these guys here. And then... Oh! This came in! Oh, I'm sorry. we got to check this out. I want to make a spider themed army. By the way, in May we're doing a Valhalla for Warhammer Fantasy. And uh, we're already starting to sell those. Excuse me, I'm up here. <laughs> Zan, Zan is like, uh, yeah, I was taking a picture of the thing that's more interesting. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that abdomen. You know, you can't, you can't fit that phrase in a sentence every day. Wow, look at the legs on that thing. That you do here a lot. So anyway, uh, yeah, that looks pretty huge tastic. It's got all these little spiders. Oh, can I tell... Oh, hold on. I'll tell you about my little fantasy later. Um, yeah, lots of spider... Lots of goblins. I think that's going to make this very hard to paint and assemble, is that it has, like, 12 goblins on it. Like, paint this giant spider, also paint the 12 goblins. And I don't know if you can do it very well with them all uh, on there already, so we're going to have to really check that out. But really an exquisite piece. Okay. Oh, and look at the base for it. Bazam! They had to invent a new base for it. The huge base. So I predict, you heard it here first, GW with every new army book is going to make some kind of mega sized creature. They're going to do like Forge World stuff. And that's what you're going to see. You're going to see Forge World producing things. Okay, let's go ahead and take a break. Okay, so my dirty little fantasy is this. In October, later this year, up at Valhalla, I'm going to do 
ultimate D&D &D, where I'm going to have myself as DM and I'll probably have a couple of uh, assistant DMs and I'm going to run the very first module I ever played at age 12. So for you fans, for you diehard fans, guess what the module is that I played when I was 12 years old. First D&D &D module ever played. So anyway, I'm going to do that module, kind of reinvent it, paint miniatures for it, everything in miniatures, and uh, have boards and terrain and the whole thing just completely made up deluxe. And maybe, again, this is the fantasy, have it be a week. And as many of you know, I'm now 42, and that makes it my 30-year D&D playing anniversary. I'll never grow up, not me. Still playing D&D. That's right, but I'm not living at home. By the way, if you're living at home, you, you work that for all it's worth. Because that's, that's a great place to be in your life. And enjoy that time where you can uh, live carefree. All right, anyway. Oh, man. Unless, unless you're over 30. Right now, like 20 people went, oh, I'm over 30. If you're over 30, really it's time to get out on your own. But However, I will give you a lease if you were out on your own for a period of time. So if you're out on your own for two years, then you can be at home until you're 32. I don't know. Maybe just that whole <laughs> line of thought is completely pathetic. But uh, I, for one, don't agree with the thing where they're like, ah, you can live at home. It's like, hey, you're living at home. Depends on, I guess, what you're doing that's useful. But there's something to be said for a period of time to just be slacking off. Because I think people that just jump to it that are in college at age 17, you know, and then they're like, bam, they get married, bam, mortgage, bam, profession. It's like, I think those are the ones that have a complete, absolute mental breakdown later on. I don't know. Xana says yes. Xana thinks so. you got to take things in order. you got to take things. But I had my chance. So, it, I mean, in a way, I didn't move out till I was 30 because I had my wife supporting me from age 25 to 30. Right? While I was playing Magic and D&D. &D. I did graduate from college during that time, so that's what I can say for myself. Bazam! Land Raider, whatever it is. By the way, got those two Land Raiders in so we can actually finish that project now. That's client BS, in case you want to know. Oh, look at this! Hell Pit Abomination! <gasps> Let's open it! What's that you say? You want me to unwrap you right here in public? Well, okay. <laughs> Aha! Hello, Hell Pit Abomination. So check this guy out. Look at that. It's a giant creature. Oh, I just, I want to paint all these up and have them for D&D. &D. So anyway, there he is. Look at that. He's got this weird kind of spine on his back. That's pretty gross. And uh, I, I'll just bet you there's a lot of pieces. Here's the uh, plague furnace face there. Oh, look at this. It's got kind of, it's got like mutated rat heads. These would be great for rat ogre conversions. Oh, and some of them are like, Weird half form mutated things. Oh, and this claw is cool. Oh, and look at that giant rat tail. Ba boom. I love this too, because you know what? Those are going to be extras, and we're going to end up using them on other bases in his base decorations. Ah, uh, I, I love it when the kits have extras in them, because just a little something can make such a great conversion. Defiler. Box two down. Ha ha. Should we keep going? Let's do it. Let's make it like a half hour studio update that spans three days. Well, this box is really going to, as far as I know, have only one type of thing. Raider. Let's see how many Raiders I got. Raider. 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 Okay, put down your guesses. Right now, we got four Raiders. Now look at the box. How many Raiders are there going to be in this box? Go ahead, guess. Here's five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is there going to be another raider? Thumbs up if you think it's going to be a raider. No? Oh, I even got Xana to do it. Xana thinks no. No, no, she's right. It's a ravager. 
Da, 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 da. Ravager, Ravager. Now, as some may have figured out, it's got to be an even number because I have a mental thing where I can't have, I don't like odd numbers. I like everything to be evened out. It's a problem with army list building because I like everything in pairs. I've heard you can get therapy for that. Ravager, how many Ravagers now? We're to three. Is that right? Yep, three Ravagers. How many do you guess? There's four. You're doing good. Four? Is it only four? Nope, it's five. Xana says six. And Xana gets correct. Six Ravagers. So there we go. Last box. Ba -ba. Well, folks, if you ain't got your inspiration by now, there is no hope for you. Because that's all I got. I love you, Willow. I love you, baby. Yeah. Mm. Here's my little young one. How you doing, buddy? You having trouble with that? Oh, I didn't get the noodle. Oh, yeah, you got the noodle. Oh, no, still didn't get the noodle.